My name is Ken Kashansky. Uh, I am on sabbatical right now, but I came to Stony Brook in July of 2010 as the Dean of the Medical School and as Senior Vice President for Health Sciences. And it's been an honor and privilege to serve in those roles uh, at Stony Brook University. The thing that brought me to Stony Brook was the opportunity. Sam Stanley was president at the time. Uh, he had a vision of building strength in the health sciences. Uh, Sam, as you probably know, uh, is a physician himself, an infectious disease physician. Uh, and he really felt that bringing strength to the medical school, bringing strength to our health system was the way forward for Stony Brook. And so I shared that vision uh, with Sam uh, and the opportunity to recruit outstanding leadership, the opportunity to build a health system that is really second to none, an opportunity to make an impact on the health and the education of people of Long Island and people all through the New York region uh, was what drew me, drew me to, uh, to Stony Brook. As, as Dean of the Medical School, uh, my goal uh, was to uh, create an environment for learning for our medical students where they could, they, they could get all of the elements needed to be a modern physician. Uh, or a modern physician scientist. Uh, we have, as you probably know, a very robust uh, MD, PhD training program. So I wanted to create a curriculum that was much more uh, learner centered. I, you want the students to feel they're learning and they're not being taught. You want to give them those self-sufficiency skills so that when they have a question, when they're curious, uh, as a physician, they know how to figure out a solution to the medical problem. You want to give the students an, a research opportunity. Um, we provided those opportunities uh, during medical school, during uh, a learning experience. Uh, I wanted to create a medical school where the doors of all the faculty and leadership was open all the time so that mentoring could be very active. That's very important for new uh, medical students so they can determine where their pathway uh, for their career lies. And I wanted to create a medical school environment where research and teaching and clinical care really was one, that one grew out of the other, uh, that you really couldn't have one without the other. Modern medicine requires new solutions. Um, I, I, I think it was Einstein who said, you can't solve new problems, and I'm paraphrasing of course, but you can't solve problems using the same methods that led to having those problems. You need to begin to think out of the box. You need to think about new ways of solutions uh, for medical problems. And that's where we are today. Uh, I saw an opportunity to grow on a solid research base. We needed to focus uh, our research, build on our uh, what I call nascent critical masses areas of research excellence where you have some faculty who are very good at what they're doing you have a few of the tools needed for the modern research but invest in those areas uh, it was very obvious that there was a possibility to become an nci designated cancer center the neurosciences were very strong infectious disease and immunology was growing at stony brook and so I had an opportunity, we had an opportunity to invest in those areas and make the medical school that much stronger and have it tie into uh, the learning that's going on and the clinical practice. As Senior Vice President for Health Sciences, I found my role was to grow our health system. When I got to Stony Brook in 2010, what I like to say was, uh, Stony Brook was the best kept secret in health sciences in the entire region. Unless you lived within about a five mile radius of that 20 story building, 
And it was only because it was the only 20 story building on the entirety of Long Island that you knew it was there. Uh, we needed to do better. We needed to make ourselves known. We had to grow our hospital. We had to grow our clinical practice, both in quantity and quality. And so we had the opportunity to recruit outstanding new physicians, new leaders uh, to Stony Brook to build a health system uh, in Suffolk County. We had the opportunity to build a children's hospital. Uh, the statistic was something like 87% of areas, populations as large as Suffolk County had a children's hospital, but there was none in Suffolk County. Um, and so we had the opportunity to build that. And so the health system as a uh, senior vice president of health sciences was really our responsibility to grow both quantity and quality. And I think we accomplished that. And then finally, by holding both of those roles, we could intercalate those two things, the academics with the clinical practice. And again, having both of those roles allowed us to much to come together much more strongly and build something of lasting importance. The Mark building uh, was a incubator for outstanding clinical teaching and research. In one site, you had basic scientists, translational scientists, clinicians, all focused on cancer, on biomedical informatics, all brought together in the same, same building. I, I learned a phrase many, many years ago. Uh, the phrase is productive collisions. A productive collision is when two people who weren't planning on chatting uh, bump into each other, uh, a clinician and a scientist, for example. And the scientist says, you know, I, I, I had this finding in the laboratory. What do you think it means clinically? or a clinician has a problem, bumps into the scientist and says, I don't know how to solve this patient problem. Can you begin to study it in the laboratory and together we can come up with a solution. Productive collisions are built in, hardwired into the MART building. It's important for students in many respects. Number one, it created brand new educational space. We were very tight for high quality educational space. We have five health science schools and a program in public health, all crowded into a building that was built in 1980 uh, and anticipated probably half as many students as are present in the five health science schools at Stony Brook. So we needed more space and we needed more high quality space. We needed space that allowed small group discussions to go on. And we built something like uh, nine small group studies, uh, study areas and classrooms. Uh, we needed a state of the art auditorium and the MART auditorium serves that role very nicely. There's a lot of lounge space. Uh, it's very close to the library. It's very close to the clinical uh, experiences the students have and is very close to the new children's hospital in Bed Tower. So it was important for the students to give them higher quality space, more tailored space for the way we were reshaping our curriculum. And it gave a lot of our students the opportunity to see translational medicine uh, up close and personal. So in many respects, the Mark building was catalytic uh, for the medical school, for the clinical practice and for the research. Uh, that was going on in the Stony Brook School of Medicine. There were a number of changes that we made uh, over my tenure as, as Dean. Uh, one of the most important in my view was the curriculum change. Uh, rather than it being very lecture driven, very teaching oriented, we decided to rework it so it was much more uh, learner centric, if you will, uh, create uh, bring in uh, clinical experiences early uh, so that when they learn, when the students learn basic science, it will have relevance. It is so much more effective uh, for a student to learn acid-based physiology when they have seen a patient with diabetic ketoacidosis. Suddenly all that physiology makes sense and all that pathology makes sense 
when you're faced with an experience, when you have an experience of a patient suffering from severe acid-based disturbances. So that the curriculum was able to build those kind of things in. The curriculum was also very humanity, humanistic oriented, very important. We want to instill in our students uh, a sense of altruism, a sense of medicine is not a job, it's a calling. And humanism is a great way to do that. And we've, we've won awards uh, for our humanism curriculum uh, with our students. So curriculum was, was very important, I think. Um, we taught the MART building was also a seat uh, for translational medicine. We were able to focus our research on areas that were uh, growing, of uh, growing in importance. We focused on cancer. We focused on the neuropsychiatric uh, aspects of human health and disease. We focused on engineering driven solutions to medicine. It used to be thought that the term quantitative medicine was an oxymoron. Either you have medicine or you have quantitative sciences. I for one never ever accepted that. I think medicine should be a quantitative hard science pursuit. And we were able to bring in outstanding biomedical engineering uh, faculty, bring in leadership, bring in biomedical informatics, and very, very proud of the leaders we brought in and the programs uh, that we developed. Uh, and then finally, uh, I think that growing our, uh, our clinical base, we had such great, great physicians and physician scientists come to Stony Brook to build uh, a health system. And uh, I think that was a very important role. And we saw that later on uh, in, in the COVID uh, uh, pandemic as it affected Long Island. The name itself really is uh, important only in that it honors uh, all of the families at Renaissance Technologies who donated so much to build a strong medical school and strong health sciences system uh, in Suffolk County. So the, um, the generosity of something like 75 or 80 families uh, at Renaissance Technology allowed us to build the MART building, allowed us to recruit incredibly bright and energetic and creative uh, faculty members and leaders to bring them to Stony Brook. It allowed us to create a children's hospital uh, where none really existed before. And so the name is important in the sense that it allowed us through the generosity of the families at Renaissance Technologies to build a much stronger medical school and a much stronger health system uh, in Suffolk County at Stony Brook University. My proudest moment time period was our response to COVID uh, over the last two years. Um, there's an aphorism that leadership is revealed during crises. Uh, and I think that our response to the COVID pandemic on Long Island illustrates that uh, to a T. Uh, we were able to dig deep and care for hundreds and hundreds of incredibly sick patients. Not only did we offer outstanding care for that patient, our survival rate for ICU patients with COVID-19 was better than, certainly better than any other health system on Long Island, probably amongst the top two or three in the entire New York metropolitan region. We provided outstanding healthcare. But not only that, we dug deep and studied, studied and studied what is going on in these patients. Uh, if you go to PubMed and look up COVID and Stony Brook, well over 200 publications have come from our faculty at Stony Brook. 
we were able to figure out things that no one else really studied. We created probably the best database of all of the patients who presented to Stony Brook. Something like 2,000 different data fields, all scrubbed and made absolutely uh, clear. I think it pre created an incredible learning opportunity for our students. Obviously, remote learning took a toll, but we, we, we actually graduated our first class, the class of 2020 graduated early so that they could go and work for us uh, for about seven or eight weeks during the height of the pandemic. And those students now slash physicians learned so much. It was a life changing experience for them to see up close and personal so that I was extremely proud of our response to the COVID uh, pandemic and epidemic on Long Island. It showed that uh, the leaders, that the physicians, that the researchers, that the educators all came together and made a huge impact in this medical disaster that, uh, that we were dealt. I'm extremely proud of the School of Medicine. I'm extremely proud of Stony Brook Medicine Health System uh, and all of the people. It always comes down to people. All of the people who make that possible at Stony Brook.